Welcome back. If you're new here, my name is Jessica. I'm a mommy vlogger. I like to vlog about being in a blended family, taking care of my two kiddos, and now my wedding. It's about a year away. If you like to see those types of videos, make sure you like this video, subscribe to my channel, and leave any questions in the comment section down below. I answer every single comment. In today's day in the life, I am going to show you guys Lily's setup for her at-home schooling. In Philadelphia, all of the schools are closed until November. That's like possible to change but as of right now she won't be going back to school until november so i've set up her room with everything that she needs all of her supplies i've organized everything and as soon as she gets up i'll go upstairs and show you guys what that looks like um but she's honestly not excited about this and i'm gonna be completely honest i'm not excited about this either all last year she did really well in school and as soon as it came to at home learning it became an issue she's not focused here there's just a lot th of things going on especially with ollie running around and trying to touch her so that's why i'm putting her upstairs and if she needs anything she could easily just come downstairs or whatever so i am going to take everything that will distract her from the bedroom but for right now it's okay her first week will actually be with her dad and then i will have her the second week so this the next time you hear anything about her schooling would be in like two weeks um so yeah she's again not excited um and she's not very happy because her day starts out at 8 30 she gets a lunch at like 11 30 and she has to be back on by 12 15 and then she doesn't end until three o'clock um but luckily on friday she only has half days and she only has to work 12 o'clock so I'm honestly really nervous to see how she does. Um, she has to be on there at 8.30. There's a Zoom meeting with her teacher every single day at 8.30. Um, so I think I'm going to start getting her prepared. She has to go to bed at 8.30, get up, eat breakfast, get dressed, get in a routine of going to school even though she's home, and then going on to the laptop and working. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to get her all set up. I'm ready to go uh so i'm excited so i'm really excited to show you guys what i've done um again it's her desk if you haven't seen her dream bedroom tour i will leave it down below and you can check that out but i've set it up to like involve schooling so i wanted to give you a little bit of update on our venue i have a meeting with a venue on sunday and honestly we're really excited to go we have our hearts set on this venue to be honest and if it doesn't turn out to be like what we expected then we're just gonna have to go with something else um it's pretty pricey not gonna lie you have to pay for like everything separately so when i go there and i show you that vlog because i'll be vlogging on sunday i will mention all the prices and everything but as of, as of right now i'm just gonna leave it at that but yeah i am going to probably get ollie because he's been moving for like the last 10 minutes he just starts to get up at like 5 45 and then he just rolls around until like 6 30 but he's not like up up so i'm just waiting for him to get up it's almost 6 30 so i'm gonna put his milk in the microwave and hang out with him on the couch. I'll see you in Lily's room in a little bit. Okay, so we're up in Lily's room and here is her desk. Her desk is from Ikea. And I've gone through all of this in her dream bedroom tour. Again, it's linked down below. Um, so we have this wire basket up here that we've had up here. I just haven't put anything in it. So we got this from Target. Right now she has her... All of her books, extra paper, folders, stuff like that in here. And then she's got a binder full of paper right there. She's got my laptop up here, which we'll be using uh, to Zoom and everything like that. I'll get her all set up with like my AirPods because this doesn't connect to her headphones. Um, but I will be sharing this with her so it won't stay up here. Um, she's got a whiteboard connected to this, so she's got pens that she needed anyway, so that's there. And then in this drawer right here, 
We have everything organized for her. I got these little containers from Target. They come in a three pack for $2. So right here, she's got all of her pens. She was recommended that she needed uh, erasable pens. So I got her these ones. They're on sale right now at Target, Pilot Friction Pens. And then she needed red pens, so I just gave her a couple from my stash. So these are her pens, and right here are her pencils. She's got a lot of different mechanical pencils, a lot of erasers, big erasers right here. So that's in there. And then in this one, she's got highlighter and glue, which they also asked for, so she has that. She's got a couple pair of scissors, pencil sharpeners. This is for her whiteboard. She's got index cards, sticky notes, um, paper clips, a huge thing of crowns that have never been used. She's got small tip markers, wide tip markers, and color pencils along with two rulers. So that's all her stuff right there. The only thing they actually wanted for her was just pencils and notebooks. But I wanted to make sure that she had everything that she could possibly need. And I told her if she wanted to print anything out, we could just print it out so she could work on actual paper instead of on the computer. Because Lily is a visual learner and she needs to do step-by-step -step processes. So she can't just do it in her head. So. I told her that if that's the easiest way, then we'll do it that way. And she could just work through it the way she needs to work through it and figure it out. So again, she only needed a couple of notebooks which are in the basket over there and they just wanted her to have some pencils. And there you go, that's what she has. So again, she's in fifth grade. It's not like she's um, a younger age and she needs like all the coloring stuff and all that stuff. She's getting to the point where it's basically just pens and paper. Just trying my best to like help her as much as possible transition from going to school to staying home um, and i know it's gonna be hard who's yeah. that we are sitting in his room As you just seen, I went through Lily's room and then I got the kids ready and we took a walk and Ollie's in the trash truck and he was beyond excited to see them. So that's what we did. I also wrote Lily's like username and password on her whiteboard and they spelled her name wrong. I don't, <laughs> I reached out to the teacher like twice already to tell him that Lily switches houses and she needs two separate like parent portals. So one for her dad and one for me. And then he needs to send the information to both of us. And like he's already reached out to me and he was like, yeah, there's two portals. Could you cl please close one? And I'm like, she has two different parents, two different households. She needs both of them open. And I've talked to him like twice about it. And I'm like, please like try to understand. Like I know it's confusing, but like just send whatever information you're sending to me to him and vice versa so we have all the information and we're both you know informed on everything going on with lily during the school year so he's like okay i get it i get it and then <laughs> he messaged me today and he's like can you please close the other portal and i was like yes we talked about this already lily goes to her father's every other week and then she's with me the weeks that she's not with him we need both and he's like okay i get it so i'm like can i have the information that you sent to him and not to me and she was he was like okay so this might be one of those weird <laughs> very weird years that like the teacher just doesn't 
understand. Um, last year, Lily had the same teacher for third and fourth grade, so she pretty much was like very educated on what was going on with Lily. Um, it's always hard starting a new year with a new teacher and having to walk up to them and be like, okay, Lily is in a split household. She goes to her dad's every other weekend and like you need to make sure that both of us are getting information. There's just a lot that, you know, goes into being in a split family and you know, you, you gotta work with the other person and make sure that everybody's getting the information that's that's pretty much it like um i want him to be involved as much as i am so i'm not gonna cancel his account so i could have it um the teacher should have both of our information so if anything happens he should reach out to both of us not just one or the other so yeah that's <laughs> that's what has happened and then i just put ollie down for his nap it's about 10 o'clock and i wanted to brush up on the Binky, I know in the last video that you guys seen me taking his binky and distracting him and he cried a little bit and then he was fine. Um, that's pretty much where we're at. I can't have the binky anywhere near him or he'll immediately put it in his mouth or he starts crying for it. So we try to distract him as much as possible and we hide them <laughs> to do the best we can with them. Um, but he is talking a lot more. Like he is like mumbling and everything, but he's still talking. So that's a... Um, step in the right direction he does say a lot of a lot more words like yesterday he did say daddy which is an accomplishment i'm really proud of him for saying that so we're getting there i'm gonna head downstairs and hang out with lily for a little bit and we are gonna have lunch until ollie wakes up it is now friday anthony is actually off for the next four days and we're super excited to just like have our time because he's constantly working um nick and tara are gonna take ollie on saturday because we have to go see the venue on sunday so they were like yeah we'll babysit get your time alone whatever so me and anthony are thinking of going out to dinner on saturday night and we'll just see how that goes um but i have to pack some bags so that's what i'm gonna also be doing so i just wanted to throw that in there so i'll see you guys a little bit later when ollie wakes up he's awake Good morning. He's got cheese curls and some milk. And I know this shirt is a little big. Mommy. We know. What? I swear the dynamics do not come out on the 31st. I'm spending all my money on <gasps> Lilith. I tossed it up the cow. It's fine. Thank God. I was about to cry. <laughs> Oliver's up like you just seen, and Lily just got in trouble for throwing her phone on the floor. Um, I know his shirt is a little big. If you didn't see my last vlog, I did a 3T clothing haul for fall. His 2T are a little snug around his neck, and it seems like the 3T are just a little too big. So I wonder if I wash that, it'll shrink a little bit. Who knows? Um, but we're gonna have to move on to the next size, even if it's a little loose. But the 2Ts are starting to get a little too tight for my liking, especially around his like his neck and his arms is not too bad around his belly because he's kind of on the shorter side but he's like really thick uh so a lot of things don't fit him properly um especially pants like i had to go up to a 3t in his pants and i'm sure they're going to be extremely long on him but that's just how it's going to have to be and he's eating his cheese curls even though i tried to put on a bib so he wouldn't ruin his shirt um but he's enjoying it you like those? By the way, there's a whole pile of laundry that I need to get to. Mom life. Can you can you put your cheese curls down? Can you put them on the entertainment center? Put it on the TV stand. Come on. Put them over there with your milk. Come on. Put your cheese curls down and eat them. You're gonna, buddy, you're gonna drop your cheese curls. Can I have them? Mm. Thank you. Come on. Somehow these suction cups cannot last with Oliver. There you go, buddy. Go ahead, eat your cheese curls. Mmm. So here's a better idea. Like the shirts are kind of long, a little bit long. 
not too bad, but right here is the worst. Like he's really like broad shoulders, thick arms. He's got a nice little belly on him. Mmm. -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, knock knock. Who's there? <laughs> knock knock. A gigantic thunderstorm and lightning storm outside and it was pouring so um, I didn't want to film uh, so Lily just left Ollie just went upstairs I'm gonna do some massive cleaning because Ollie destroyed the house <laughs> and I'm gonna end the vlog here um, we ate dinner we had burgers like you just seen and I ended up going to Target because I fell for one of these TikTok videos saying that Target had like fall decor for like five dollars so I fell for that and it was absolutely wrong like i said i'm gonna end the video here i hope you guys enjoyed today's video if you did make sure you like this video subscribe to my channel and leave any questions in the comment section down below i answer every single comment i'll see you guys on wednesday with a new video bye guys